I sure admired her spunk. She never caved in the way everybody else in this town has. Look at the way she is looking at him. Like she wants to suck him like a popsicle. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Nick. If this is your first time here on my channel, how's it going? If this is not your first time here on my channel, welcome back. All right, you guys, so today is a special video. It's a special video for a variety of reasons. I am going to be watching a movie today that whenever I tell people that I have not watched it, I get like the most severe side eye, like disgusted look ever. People are shocked that I have not seen this movie. And this movie that we are watching today is also very special because the lead, the person that this movie is about, I am going to be meeting this person in a couple of weeks. So for today's video, we are going to be watching 1988's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. So yes, I've never seen any of the Elvira movies, but I know, I've like always known since I was a kid who Elvira is. It, it's similar-ish, like if, if any of you guys know who Sven Gulli is, growing up in Chicago, I hit Sven Gulli, but I had never seen Elvira for whatever reason. Honestly, it's kind of like a Joe Bob Briggs situation. I know who that is, <laughs> but like I've never, seen anything from that person? Well, technically the assistant. I don't, is she assistant? Is she a co-host? Whatever she is. She was in Halloween End, so like that's literally the extent of my knowledge of Joe Bobbix. But anyways, we're getting off topic here. But one of my best friends, David, he has a wonderful channel here on YouTube. You should check his channel out. Elvira is like his everything. And when I told him that I have not seen this movie, I feared for my life. What did you just say? But then he found out that there was a convention that she was going to be in. So he was like, we're meeting her. I got the tickets. We're going. We're doing a meet and greet. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to go into shock. They're going to have to call an ambulance. I will never be able to live it down or show my face in public again. But it doesn't matter because I got to meet Elvira. And I was like, well, she seems very important too. So I should probably watch this movie. But also like I'm going and I'm going to beat her too. So I would like to have a little bit more context outside of just knowing who she is from pop culture. So we're going to be watching Elvira. Well, the first Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, because I guess there's two. I think there's two. I don't know. There might be more than two, but I don't know how many movies there are. It's just always so funny to me when there's a movie that I mentioned to people that I've not seen before. And they're like, of all movies, like you haven't seen this before. And I'm like, y'all don't understand. Growing up, I had like a total of like 10 to 15 movies. And I just watched those movies over and over and over and over and over. Like if I told people the actual number of times that I've seen the original Halloween, I would be sent away. Like I would be in an institution somewhere because it's, it's unhealthy. And who knows, maybe this movie will, will, will enter into that pantheon of, of obsessive rewatches. We shall see. But before we get into this movie, if you would be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. This way you are notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are interested in what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter slash X. And if you are interested in seeing more content from me, you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of movies and TV shows which you can check out the full list of everything that I've reacted to on there down in the description. I am ready. I have had a day. I'm ready to laugh. Without further ado, let's get into Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. So that's what you look like. You're ugly. Horrible. That's what they say to me when I go on a date with somebody that I met on a dating app, you know? He's firing. What is that thing? This is like giving me the old school Godzilla movies, like where they had Son of Godzilla and it was a person in a costume. I love those. Hello, darling. It's me again, yours truly, Elvira. There she is. Oh boy, I mean, could you believe that cheesy looking monster? Looked like Gumby on steroids. Well, at least the movie had a moral. Well, Where's the scripture for it? All right. <laughs> this is Elvira, the gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. <laughs> All right, she's sassy and nasty. I like it. Is there anything that could possibly shame you? We're in this in a public place might do it. <laughs> Drag her. <laughs> Get it, girlfriend. Her body? Her body, bitch? See that guy over there? What, the lard bucket and the 10 gallon hat? Oh my God. <laughs> Name's her, but the ladies back home call me Longhorn. He looks familiar. I feel like I've seen him in other stuff. You can try your act out on me. It's milking time. Oh my God. Does she kill people? I don't know. Does she kill people? Cause she could kill him. Running out. <laughs> you said she was a nympho. Oh my God. The flamingo won't, you won't go ahead with the show unless you come up with some money to help finance it. How much do they want? $50,000. 
$50,000? Are you nuts? Right, in 1988? I'm sorry to inform you of her untimely passing. Oh, I didn't even know I had a good aunt, much less a great one. This always happens in movies where, like, somebody finds out that they had a relative that died and the relative left them all of this money. Can that happen to me? Can I have some family member that, I mean, sorry, that croaks and leaves me a bunch of money? Shit. Let's show Elvira exactly what she's inherited. What in the price is right is this? You are going to start with something that dreams are made of. Oh, is she dreaming? Is that what the, okay, she, I think she's dreaming. Go ahead and call the Flamingo Manny. Tell him I'll have that 50 grand as soon as I get back from Massachusetts. So I'm assuming she's going to get there and like whatever they're going to give her is like, here is like a $20 gift certificate to the Sizzler. Her car though, bitch. The car, oh, the car. Oh my god, that sounded wet. Hey, I got some gas. Well, if it's self serve, what the fuck is he standing there for? Ew. <laughs> so we're all about the boobs. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm here for it. He's about to blow up. She just killed that man. <laughs> I mean, like the, the the aesthetic of her, like I've seen images of her, the outfit paired with the car. Perfection. It's giving the Brady Bunch, like the movies, the Brady Bunch movies, taking them out of the show and sticking them into the real world where everybody else is acting like normal. You better work. Oh my God, wait, that, the, the, the guy that they just showed, what do I know him from? I can make sure. Oh my God, I know her too on the left. Oh my God, what is she from? <laughs> Not the whip. Well, I never. Yeah, and you never will with them soup cans on your head. Oof. Listen, young lady, <laughs> I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you most certainly don't fit in this town. Your mother. <laughs> Listen, sister, if I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. You better work. <laughs> Would one of you big, strong men mind giving me a little push? Oh, that's where he's from. The kid with the glasses. That's the kid in the wheelchair from Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. The wizard master or whatever. Not that it did him any fucking good. Uh, listen, is there a motel or something around here? Well, there's the cozy cot down by the widow Bishop's feed store. Of course, her son sort of took that over. After she had that spell of gingivitis, her whole mouth swole up. Looked like she... And a box of staple. Ew, brush your teeth, bitch. What? Nice tits. <laughs> like, I wanted to be respectful and not be like, her boobs, though? But the fact that it seems to be like a plot point, a part of her persona, the boobs, though. Damn. Uh... Oh, oh my god, I know her too. It's people. What about the cherry pie? It's so good. You were born with it. You have... I hate to interrupt this little episode of the Waltons, but could I get a room? <laughs> I know what you heavy metal weirdos do to motel rooms. They're all about it in the star. The star. That's like the weekly world news, right? Where they had like the bat boy and all like the random completely made up shit. I loved that magazine. Patty's titty bowl. <laughs> Let me see that. In 1988, and he just ripped up a Spider-Man. I would have beat his ass. I would have. Ooh, ooh. Have you lost your mind? How, ooh, that's just like a little of my soul just died watching that. Damn, that's a big man. Uh, Bloody Mary. No hard liquor served past eight o'clock. Do you want a virgin? Maybe, but uh, I'll have a couple of drinks first. <laughs> I like this movie so far. <laughs> hey, baby. I got something to show you. Ew, they're fucking nasty. Trying to like to pick up a woman and you look just constantly like you're mid belch. Ugh. I cut you, man. Oh, she stabbed him. Oh my god, I thought she actually stabbed him. Um, my name's Elvira, but you can call me tonight. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Look. 
Look at this mess. Seems to me it's all this cheap little tarts fault. Stab her too. It looks like you've got some competition. Trash does not compete with class. Mm -hmm. Back to differ. Yeah, I'm here for the reading of my great aunt Morgana's will. Morgana Talbot? She's your aunt? Yeah, that came as a surprise to me too. <laughs> I never really knew her, but I sure admired her spunk. She never caved in the way everybody else in this town has. Look at the way she is looking at him. Like she wants to suck him like a popsicle. <laughs> I run the movie house. I'm in movies too. Have you ever shown uh, um, I Married Satan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently Mrs. Talbot has a grand niece. Who is this grand niece? You're about to find out. Hey guys, sorry I'm late, but then so's my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this woman? Honestly, w what, we're 20 minutes in I'm gonna tell you who this woman is. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. To my housekeeper, I leave my silver tea service and a cash allotment of $5,000. She ain't gonna get shit. Whatever she ends up getting, it's either gonna be something absolutely ridiculous, or it's gonna be like she left her her entire fortune or something. I bequeath my house, my beloved poodle, Algonquin, and my precious book of recipes. That's it? Well, wait, well, the house might be worth something. To my dear brother Vincent, I leave the rest of my estate and holdings. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with his eyes? One was looking at California when the other one's looking at Florida. What's so important about a dumb recipe book? That dumb recipe book contains more power than your feeble little minds can ever imagine. And it rightfully belongs to me. The recipe book? Oh, is it a spell book? Is this movie supernatural? Because it's listed as a horror comedy, but I'm like, other than Elvira, like, where's the horror? Oh, she technically killed someone, so. I would be interested in acquiring that recipe book. You know, for sentimental reasons. Don't don't do it. The second that they're like, yeah, I would like to have the one random thing that you deem insignificant. That's the thing I want. I'd be like, why? Why? Mm -mm. Hey, this place ain't half bad. <laughs> Bet you could get a bundle for it. Yes, you could. But your house is over there. Well, bitch, why did you park in front of the other one? Although I am feeling the other house. I mean, it's quite clearly haunted, but it's giving like the monsters a little bit, which, oh, the monsters, y'all, obsessed. Careful, some of the boards will lose. This place is covered in f***ing cobwebs. How long ago did the ant die? I think I'll go. Relax, you. Here, doggy, go on. Go chase us into the street. She said, she said, go chase us into the street. Use the rest of your inheritance, your great aunt's recipe book. Is that her? Is that like a painting of Cassandra Peterson? 70 grand. Would you be interested in selling? Does a chicken have a pecker? Of course I'm interested. <laughs> Now, what am I gonna do with you? She's either gonna shave her, she's gonna dye her black or something. 12 seconds later. That's more like it, Algonquin. Oh my god. What did I say? Hold your horses. Ooh, even the dog knew to hide the book. I'm telling you, it's a spell book. It has to be a spell book. You not only get a house, if you act right now, you also get all this beautiful furniture. Now what would you pay? You know what's really interesting about this is like, because I've never actually seen her talk, I've just seen images of her. I didn't, re like, she's so animated and she talks really, really quickly and she's like all over the place and uh, like, I'm living for it. It's so different than how I imagined it in my head. Like, I always thought she'd be like, very like soft-spoken and like seductress and stuff like that. Like that and it's the opposite and i'm living for it you didn't just walk away i'm sure it'll turn up yes so you can back up a little bit of course you will I know it's not the same actor, at least I think it's not, but he kind of reminds me of a little bit of like Colonel Cochran from Halloween 3. Oh yeah, that's that's the monsters right there. <sighs> Good thing I'm not gonna be here very long. Neighbors would never get any sleep. <laughs> Did you bring the camera? Do I look like an idiot? You really want me to answer that? Shut up, the guy. She's gonna hear us. What, are they trying to take pictures of her boobs or something? <laughs> As she's like undressing, she just like pulls down the panties and it's just like... <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> the body. Oh my god, what the f was that her? Did you see those gazookas? I got it. Do none of the women in this town also have breasts? Oh my god. The woman was too stunned to speak. I think I am transcending right now. What the f is that? Okay. 
Jesus. What the fuck is on her head? Hey, Elvira, we got us a couple more volunteers. Great. Just grab a tool and start banging. I cannot. <laughs> That's how they painted her house? Fabulous. I mean, I guess. And she had half the teenagers in town writhing around. And this morning on... Oh, I know him too. Damn, they got everybody up in this movie. If she's morally unfit, then we have every right to do anything we can to get her out of this town. Speaking of being morally unfit, can we address the fact that she is dressed like she's about to and churn butter. What the fuck is that? Look, she's a pilgrim. Why is she dressed like that? Honey, I'd do anything to get rid of this rat trap. Mm, that's what I like, a motivated seller. Is he trying to, like, bring her to Bone Town? What the fuck? Just because this house is up for grabs doesn't mean I am. That's right. Ooh, I love a station wagon. I love a station wagon so much. Also, I think I am kind of digging the house. It's kind of shocking though, because you would have figured that given how she dresses, that she would have liked the aesthetic of the old house, but you know, I'm here for it either way. There's no book upstairs, but I found these panties. Try one, they're edible. They broke into the house. Well, whose dog is that? Is that gonna end up being the, the poodle or whatever? That is not the poodle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. How's your head? Well, I haven't had any complaints yet. <laughs> I see you, David. I know I have this reputation of being a nasty, dirty, filthy, <laughs> guzzling slut. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> you know what your problem is? Chastity pariah. <gasps> Ooh, I thought that cleared up. Oh my God. <laughs> I'd hire you if I could, but I I'm barely making enough money to stay in business as it is. Characters like Bob are why people have unrealistic standards because you have this beautiful man, big, built, takes care of himself, but he's like nice and gentle, happy and, and friendly to everybody and sweet. Those don't exist. Oh, Bob, how can I ever repay you? I can think of a few ways. Just so happens that I have some of the classic films of all time in the trunk of my car. What was the one that she said? Like, like I married Satan. <laughs> have you seen the sequel? I married Satan too. Or <laughs> I want one of those so bad. I want to eventually one day buy a house that has a bookshelf. I don't even care if it's not even real books on the bookshelf. I just want a bookshelf where you pull the book and there's a secret passageway behind it. Oh, so he's like a warlock. So it is a spell book. Yours truly is hosting a midnight screening at Fob's Theater of one of the worst movies ever made. Is it Plan 9? Because don't they say that Plan 9 from Outer Space is considered the worst movie ever made? Hey, what is this? The invasion of the Body Snatchers? I've never seen that movie. And if I get so depressed, I wind up hanging myself in the oven. Hanging yourself in the oven? Well, how big is this oven that she's speaking of? Tell him I was more than just a great set of boobs. I was also an incredible pair of legs. You better work. <laughs> Tell him that when all is said and done, I only ask that people remember me by two simple words. Gail Swallows. I'm sorry, Elvira. <laughs> we'll all come to your show. <laughs> oh my God, the sound she is making. <laughs> Yeah, y'all need to watch out for her. You know she's scheming. I wonder if this is a real town or if this is like a film, like a backlot on a studio. It's kind of giving like studio backlot a little bit. What's the bucket for? Didn't I tell you? Oh, it's so cool. Carrie? It was inspired by Flashdance. Oh, I I've never seen Flashdance either. Are those her boobs? Is it? Is she supposed to have a boob job? Is it, is it supposed to be like Amy Poehler, <laughs> the boob job that it's like hard as rocks? They're Italian. Isn't there a movie called Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or something? Is that what they're watching? I might have to watch that movie. That looks great. Oh my God, she's got leg warmers. Oh, oh, I have been cured of my homosexuality. Oh my God. Is that her? That's not her. Uh oh. Oh shit, what is that? Like tar and feathers? Not tar, because she, she'd be f***ed if it was tar. Just wait till I get my hands on that 
daddy. I'm gonna rip every single bleach blonde hair out of her scalp, gouge out her eyeballs, and use her head for a bowling ball. I like that energy. Also, I love that she's like in the bathtub, fully immersed in water, yet her makeup is perfectly done still. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> oh, she wants to smash. I mean, I get it. I understand. Spiritually, I'm there with her. But damn. <gasps> oh, that reminds me. I'm starving. Mm hmm. You know what's on the menu tonight? Fish. Why don't you set the table while I see what I can whip up in the kitchen? Ah, uh, is this how she's going to figure out that it's not actually a recipe book? Well, a recipe for magic. Looks like it was written in some kind of foreign language or something. A Draca Coast. Uh uh. Spend. Don't speak Latin in front of the books. How cool would it be to like have a house that does look like this? Like it looks like an old creepy mansion, like monsters and stuff like that, but like it's built to look like that. It's not actually gross and dirty and unkempt. Like everything's still clean, but it like is made to look like that. I would love that. Uh, what? What is it? What the heck? I got cast iron stomach. Ew, that's like mold. Oof. I don't like that. I don't want to. I don't want to look. I don't want to look at that. That's disgusting looking. That looks like moldy shit. Is that cheese whiz? You expect me to believe that she's got a body like that and she's eating cheese whiz? Okay, bitch. Sure. I hope you're hungry, <laughs> cause here's dinner. <laughs> oh my god. What ew? Oh my god. <laughs> It's trying to bite her titties. Switch, Bobby, switch. They had garbage disposals in 1988. I don't know when they were made. <laughs> we know that they had them in 1998. Wow, look at all this cool junk. That's voodoo. Yo, I think I used to go. You see, that is voodoo. You're gonna find a hair tie, a toothbrush. Dearest Elvira, for all these years, I protected you from the truth, but the time has now come when your only protection is the truth. Say what? Right, I'm, what the f did that mean? Your mother was an extraordinary woman. She was the true mistress of the dark. Ah, mistress of the dark. Oh yeah, cause what's his face said that he, when he was down in his little dungeon, he said master of the dark. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I left you with all the power you would need and entrusted you to my loyal familiar. What's that about a familiar? Like how a witch has a cat. Well, usually a cat. <gasps> Does that mean that my cats are my familiars? When the moon falls. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And here I am knocking myself out to make a living as a horror hostess when I'm actually descended from like a major metaphysical celebrity. That's right. Oh, all I have to do is just find the right spell and I can make the money I need for Vegas. No, if I learned anything from Charmed, you cannot use magic for personal gain. There are always consequences. Bob, are you still here? Right here. What happened to Bob? Huh? Oh, why Bob? What, did, what, what happened to Bob? Oh, I was like, did she like transmogrify Bob or something? Thank God. Hold me, Bob. Hold me. I really like how horny she is. <laughs> she knows what she wants and she lets you know. <laughs> a morality club? Oh my God. A nightmare. Literally a nightmare. The worst types of people you meet. <laughs> I see you've made your famous Tic Tac pie. Ew, wow. That's just, do they even still make Tic Tacs? That is nasty. And believe me, when they open that pot, they're gonna need all the luck they can get. Oh, did she make another one of those things? Looks like some sort of casserole. <laughs> ew, you're at a potluck, bitch, and you just put your finger in there? You, ew. Shoot, must have screwed it up when they substituted the filet grill with some hamburger helper. Oh my God, I haven't had hamburger helper since I was a kid. I used to live for that shit, which means it's probably incredibly unhealthy. That is correct. Remind you of anything? Remind you of anything? <laughs> <laughs> this movie is so fucking horny. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She is full on riding his face. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. 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 Oh my God, that's where I know him from. The real estate agent, I could not. 
I could not place where I recognized him from until I saw him without a shirt dancing outside in the middle of the daylight. That's the cop that's supposed, like the Sheriff Burke in a uh, scary movie with the, the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always wear the same dress? No. Sometimes I like to wear something low cut and sexy. That's right. <laughs> well, I guess in your business it pays to advertise. I know you did not. Bob! <laughs> Knocked her ass out. Oh my god, her titties were fake. He lost boys. He attacked me in broad daylight and he had his way with me. Me? I barely got away with my life. You could have worn out a mechanical bull. Ooh. Ooh. You're not going to get away with this, you sex-addled maniac. You would have figured that if they just spent the entire afternoon f***ing everybody in town, that they would have loosened up a little bit. At least, well, physically, they're probably looser, but... She's going to ride her out of town on a big, fat rail. She might enjoy that too much. We don't slut shame. We don't do that. Arrested. On what charges? There is a law on the books that dates back to the Salem trials. Yeah, that's what we should do. We should utilize laws that were created during the Salem witch trials, because that'll go well. Fucking idiot. Witchcraft. Oh my god, the way that only one eye moved, it's too much. I'm entitled to one phone call and a strip search. What's the matter? You forget where you put your broom? I'm gonna put my broom up your ass. Great news. I got you the best lawyer in the county. He'll be here first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, I'll be able to fit in an ashtray. They didn't do an ashtray, girl. They're not about to burn you at the state. Well, they might. Oh my God, they are fully about to burn her ass at the stake. I thought they were just kicking her out of the town. Oh my God, they're planning on burning the dog too, I can't. Y'all didn't have to do Bob like that. What did he do to you? It's mine. The power is mine. 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 Oh my God, wait, is Gonk the familiar? Is Gonk even a dog? Save this wretched creature's soul, even though her creamy white flesh will burn. Her creamy white flesh. Flesh? Okay. I feel like so many like problems in life would just be resolved if people would just masturbate more. <sighs> now he's a Rottweiler? Cause wait, cause the Rottweiler was the one that was like delivering a baby Elvira. So is that what Gunk normally looks like? A Rottweiler? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this town, I'm gonna have to look this up afterwards. I feel like this is like a famous back lot that they film shit in. Cause all of this looks very, very familiar to me. The, the town specifically. Any last words? Just one. Damn, you know you are stunning when even tied to a stake and about to be burnt to a crisp, you still look good. Hold it, Sheriff. What you're doing is wrong. It'll catch faster if you light it yeah, in several Yeah, I was gonna say, mm -hmm. now that her cone titties have been removed. Remember. I cannot. <laughs> the baby hellfire. <laughs> Well, thank God that she had that magical ring on her that she's had since a baby and somehow mysteriously never lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vincent's got the book. Come through fog machine. Elvira! Why does he, oh, why does he look like that? <laughs> oh, you tricky little devil. I think I prefer Gonk as the Rottweiler. Not really a big fan of the little tiny Yip Yip dogs. Bob, Bob. Sick him, Gonk. <laughs> Gonk, if you could turn into a fucking Rottweiler, like, what are you doing? You could have bit his nutsack off. So you want to play rough, eh? Well, take this. Oh, Elvira, Elvira. That's the ring that she somehow managed to not lose her entire life, but when she actually needs it. I am obsessed. Oh. Ooh. That's it. That's the look for me. That's the, that and the, when she was laying on the bed. Oh my God. <laughs> you 
looks grotesque. Ugh. Jesus. Oh, she got him. Oh, it's kind of like a single white female moment. Get his ass with the heels. Oh. Her titties broke the chain. Hey. I'm gonna have to look up all these people because he's in something else that I've seen too. Uh. I'll show you it. Uh. Ooh, what is that? Ew, what are those leeches? I don't f with leeches. Ever since, what is that? Stand by me? Ever, uh, and he finds the leeches in his underwear. <laughs> I'm, I literally almost just pissed my pants because I have to pee. I am master of the dark. Why does being a villain mean that you got to look nasty as shit? <clears throat> Hot stuff, right there next to you. Grab the ring. Die. It's like the same special effects that they had with the wizard master. So is he dead? The house is burning. What the f Now she got nothing. Remember, you carry the power with you. Well, if she carries the power within her, then what was the purpose of having the book in the first place? If the, in the family, the power was within you. Why did you need the book? Now the house kind of looks like it did when she first got there. So what did the insurance guy say? My policy doesn't cover acts of demons. Well, at least you still got the ring. And you got Bob. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, there is. Can you not be gay for five minutes? Oh my God. What are they doing now? What, like, can y'all just like, can y'all rest? I could take a nap. What? You've touched a part of my son that nobody's ever touched before. I wish. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> we'll always have a free room at the cozy car. Just a minute, Leslie. Shut up, you old bag. Oh. So I don't understand why is everybody all suddenly they left were they all supposed to be like under the influence of the bad guy? Sorry that I set you on fire. I hope there are no hard feelings. She's bigger than that. A lot bigger. <laughs> Shady bitch. <laughs> With your uncle gone, you're the only heir to his estate. I am? Not an inconsiderable one at that. Did you say uncle? Who? Oh, well, yeah, the dur, dur, the demon guy. Duh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flamingo Hotel. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. This is everything. This is everything to me. Oh, oh, no, no, not that, not that, not that. Stop, 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 not that. Oh my god, she raps? Oh my god, the tassels! That is talent. That is talent. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. She ate that up. An Oscar, a Grammy, an Emmy, a Tony, a Nobel Peace Prize. Give all of us. Y'all, you have no idea. I loved that. That was so good. This is one of those things where in like, in hindsight, I'm so mad that I never saw this before. Be like, y'all don't even understand. If I would have seen this as a kid, mother, if you are watching this, why didn't you show me this movie? If I would have seen this as a kid, this would have been my entire personality. This was hilarious. The humor, the comedy was on point. The story was fun. The special effects were 80s, campy, B movie goodness. I loved it. Elvira though, Elvira though, she is everything that I aspire to be. The body, the looks, the outfit, the personality. I'm speechless. I loved that. That was a good old time. I'm very curious about the sequel. I wonder if that is just as good as the first one, if it's better. I, I don't know. I'm, uh, we're going to fast track the second one because the first one 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about this movie down in the comments, and I will see you for the next one.